When we first formed EcoPact, we didn't really think about what it could turn into. We just focused on the small things. None of us realized that there was anything we could actually do to fight climate change on a larger scale until we met CCL. We have youth all over the nation and we lobby for climate legislation. I joined, but I couldn't do it alone. We formed a team we called ourselves the Kauia Queens. Alice is always the one I can trust to be on the computer late at night to brainstorm with. We can always count on Jayla to provide an extra brain and set of hands, and Abby is the one to help figure out the logistics and details of how things are going to go. Together, we are the Queens, and we are an unstoppable team. That's a plastic bag. Alright, okay. let's go. Oh, let's go. Okay, we can make it across the floor it comes. Three Rivers is a smaller community. They actually live near one of the rivers, and this is their home, their play place. They want to save it, conserve it. Most of my childhood was spent in Three Rivers, which is small and big backyards, Sequoia Park's right by us, lots of outdoor time. They play in the river, and so to grow up playing in it, and see trash floating by. Trash that's not going to biodegrade. I'm trying to get the plastic bag off, but it keeps ripping off. At school, we're trying to set up a composting program. We're working on getting plastic straws replaced with compostable ones. We're also getting this book together of students reading like a letter or poetry or art. And we're trying to reach out to gateway schools. They live close to national parks. They saw climate change. And they're like, well, what can I do on a bigger scale? And that's what's brought them to CCL. The big initiative that we're pushing is the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividends Act. Who could go out into their community, contact the businesses, and then seek endorsements? Their connection to nature is really strong. And that builds that passion even more. If you love something, you want to fight for it. When I was in kindergarten, at recess, our favorite game to play was a mix of firemen and rescuing animals. One of us would sound the alarm, and we would all go run and get our hose and pour the fire out and then rescue all the injured animals that had gotten hurt by the fire. What it used to be a couple hundred years ago is there would be small fires like all the time. That was just part of the natural ecosystem. But then we started suppressing fire and the materials built up. And then along with climate change, now when fires come through, they get to be so much stronger and bigger and more threatening to us. It could get to our house, but hopefully it won't. Last year, 10 to 14 percent of all giant sequoias were wiped out. And it's just in one single year. This year, it could wipe out another 10 to 14% or even more. Climate change is going to affect you no matter where you live. And so for me, that's the fires. And like here in the Central Valley, that mostly means like drought. It's pretty serious threat and it's, it's here now. So it's really time to do something. Look at where you are in your community and do what you can to help. Small steps. Don't get carried away by this ginormous problem. If you live in Tulare County, it's probably hot weather and fires and air pollution. If you live somewhere else, it'll be different problems. The best thing is to get people outdoors in person, get them hands-on experiencing it, and educate people because when people know about something, they're likely to care. If a lot of people care, then it actually makes a big difference. I'm just so proud of the girls in my class. It's hard in motivating people to commit themselves to helping the environment no matter what happens. Know that every person can make a difference. We are doing this because it's our future that it affects but it would be really nice if grown-ups could help us out a bit.